Hi guys, I'm here today to show you some notes that we're going to put in our guidebook. So go to the next empty page. I think the most recent thing we put in here was our positive and negative number operations. We're going to do some vocabulary on this page and it's going to be algebra vocabulary, algebraic, since that is the unit that we've been working on. So you're going to title it Algebra Vocab or Vocabulary. First thing that we're going to write down is a uh, definition of, or some examples of the word term. So terms are um, just single uh, letters like A, or single numbers like four, <clears throat> or a term can be a number and a letter combined like say seven X, that could be a term as well. And when we put terms together, that's what makes an expression or an equation. Um, another vocabulary word that you need to know um, would be variable. A variable is a letter, like A or X in the above example. The next one is a constant. A constant is a number in an expression or an equation like four in the above example here, because um, it doesn't change, like it's always four, whereas the variable could be different in different situations, the constant stays the same. Another uh, word that you need to know is coefficient. And the coefficient is the number that's getting multiplied by the variable, so the seven in seven x, or the three in three A. It's the number before the variable. Uh, next is the term expression. An expression is some sort of combination of terms without an equal sign. So for example, four plus seven X is an expression. There are two terms in this expression. Altogether, it's an expression. Um, and then there's also an equation. An equation is like an expression, but it has an equal sign and something on the other side of the equal sign. So like four plus seven X equals nine. That's an equation. Next is an inequality. Like an um, equation, we have two sides to an inequality, but instead of an equal sign, we might have a greater than, a less than, a greater than or equal to, or a less than or equal to symbol. So similar to an equation, but it's not actually equal to, like the two sides are not actually equal to each other. Okay, so here's some uh, a quick example of all of these words. Um, like, let's take this equation and make it larger. Four plus the one that we used up here. Four plus seven X equals nine. All of these, the four, the seven X, and the nine are all terms. So we're gonna put that vocab down here. Four is a term, oh, sorry, you can't see. Four is a term, seven X is a term, nine is a term. Four, seven X, and nine. This whole thing is an equation. And uh, we have a constant in this equation, that's the number four. We have a coefficient that's the number seven, coefficient. We have a variable. That's x. So that uses some of those terms, some of those vocabulary words in context. And finally, I could write something like 3a plus 17y plus 4. And I could write a sentence about this and I could say that this is an expression because there's no equal sign, so it's not an equal uh, an equation with 
two coefficients. That is the 3 and the 17. Uh, three terms, the 3a, the 17y, and the 4. Two variables, that's the a and the y, and one constant. That would be the 4. Okay, so hopefully you have copied all this down. If you need to review or pause, um, go ahead and watch as many times as you need to.